everybody and welcome uh, here on YouTube. We are drafting a stipulation draft. The stipulation today is we can't attack. So what does that mean? We cannot, we can draft creatures, but we cannot kill them as a win condition. Um, we also can attack their planeswalkers, but we can never attack them. Uh, those are basically the rules. So any win condition that kills them without having to attack them is what we're going for. Um, of note, creatures can block, but creatures cannot attack. So we can draft creatures, but they're only going to ever be blockers or attacking their planeswalkers. Uh, you said, yeah, this card, this card is thick. <laughs> Sugar sure, genius make them draw. I probably avoid drafting green with a step. Yeah, yep, agreed. Totally agreed. Thank you, Magicka and Boom. Welcome on in. So we're going to take Lily of the Veil here. Um, it's not exactly a win condition, but we can demoralize our opponents until they concede. Uh, I think it's... Wait, what does Soren's Law and Visitor do? Soren's Law and Visitor could potentially be another win con. Maybe we can wheel him. You said, oh god, this is that you need a win condition chat meltdown step. Yep, 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 yep. So this is where chat starts having a meltdown because they're like, where's your win condition? And then the answer is we don't really have one, so... <laughs> All right, Ragnos' return is pretty nasty too. Maybe we can wheel that. So we're gonna kick things off with Lily of the Veil. Um, I think uh, Liliana the Last Hope is certainly. Yeah, I think that's actually like not a bad, not a bad win condition. I know the 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 zombies can't attack, but like. We can just have double Lily, and, like, li th that Lily is just good anyway. So, yo, Chocobro, welcome on in. How are you? Mono Lilies. Mardu Walkers and Approach are the best shot, I guess, you said. Did we and Mono Lily chat get more expensive to redeem rupees for? No, no, that hasn't changed at all. Anyway, I am... Yo, I'm possible. How are you? Gideon Jura can't... Hmm... There's nothing we can, like, win with here. Uh, you said there's a step. Yeah, the, the step is we can't attack. It's, like, up there, right there. I think we take downfall, too. Good, Chocobro. How are you? Is, is your Chocobro thing related to, like, um... Um... God, I'm having, like, a memory lapse right now. Uh... Gideon's worst planeswalker in this. Yeah, it, it, you just like can't. It's not a win con. No, not Final Fantasy. Um, it's a streamer that I used to be on a stream team with. Um, and Inochi. Is it a reference to Inochi's community on <laughs> Twitch? I was just having a memory lapse. Um, what are we doing here? All right, so Creeping Tarpet can't actually kill. A braid is a good removal spell. I don't know that. I mean, actually, I am kind of partial to a braid just because uh, if we want to, we want to get Chandra four. We would really want to get Chandra four because that's an actual win con. Uh, no, dreamy pants. We determined that we can attack planeswalkers. We had chat vote on it, and we decided that the only thing we can attack is planeswalkers. We can't attack them though. A braid or arena? I kind of don't want to take arena just because it's another three drop. You tarp it just for so the. Oh, Tarpet is good at attacking walkers. That's true. It's the only thing that's going to be attacking walkers, too. Mmm. Gotcha, Chocobro. All right. It's a Creeping Tarpet ride. <laughs> All right, we're taking Creeping Tarpet. That's that's acceptable. Um, Mirror Battle Sphere is so good, but it's just, like, not good here. Um... I think just Ophelia Mancer, maybe. Hey, Ninja, welcome on in. How are you? How's your day going? Spades, feathers. Yo, Lucid! I know, that's so crazy. It's been so long. Also, how are you? It's crazy to think it's been a year since we met. You're mm. awesome. Thanks for being an amazing human. Thank you so much, Lucid! Much love to you, too. I can't believe it's been a whole year. Are you, You're going to TwitchCon, right? Do we get to hang out at TwitchCon? Hanging out at TwitchCon last year was great. Um, I think we just keep get a few answer. You're doing well. You're eating sushi. I am jealous AF. We just started. A, we just started the draft. Um, we have a stipulation, which is we can't win by attacking, so <laughs> it's gonna be hard. 
Uh, Timmy Two Toes, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back, yo. Is this just a duress, I think? Yeah, so it makes it makes winning the draft a lot more difficult. The only exception, Lucid, is we can attack their Planeswalkers, but we can't ever, like, kill them by attacking. So we're looking for, like, Planeswalkers with, mill condition, with win conditions. We're looking for, like, mill, burn spells, stuff like that. But um, th this is, like, one of the harder steps to do because it's just very hard to win the game of Magic without attacking your opponents. Dark Dwellers with Burn Spells. I like to rest just because we we, we don't even have to move out of block for now. Um, man, Thing in the Est can't actually kill them. Nahiri, the Harbinger, it requires a creature attacking for her to do anything, so like that can't be it either. The God. Which one, Costas? Hexmage for walkers. The only problem with Hexmage is we're taking a black black spell, which I'm really not happy about. Like a black black two spell. Turns out the stip is a little rough. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance we just like don't ever kill our opponents. We've done this before and we've we've done okay with it, but it wasn't the vintage cube. I think that one has a little bit more support for the stip. Um, I'm gonna take thing in the ice. I, I don't think it's good, but I don't think Hexmage is good either. You're still in pain from your toe from the other day, but planning a private pre-release of my friends who's fighting cancer. We're also doing a draft to be in costumes. I love it, Ninja. That's awesome. Um, oof. Nothing here. I mean, Siege Gang Commander. <laughs> a combination of Siege Gang Commander and Corpse Stamps could actually, like, get there, maybe. <laughs> but there's no Corpse Stamps in this cube, I don't think. There is no Crystal Shard in the cube, though. No. But maybe like reanimate effects. So, oh man, we wield the Ractus return. All right, we're in the money. So we're gonna be like some sort of black red control deck, I think. Um, Wretched Confluence is not bad, but Ractus return is like much better here. Was that Gabby's Discord or not? I let me see if Task Manager if my Discord's open. Uh, my Discord's not open, so you're going crazy, Molly. How does that wheel? I mean, it's. Like, it's a good card, but... Ooh, hold on. Chandra does ping them for one a turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Molly, you know what that sounds like to me? Like, was that Gabby's Discord or not? It's just totally like... I'm gonna take Chandra. It's recurring damage. Ooh, Boris Reckoner, huh? Br Br Grim Lava Mancer actually could do the, could do the trick. We, we're gonna be like a black red burn deck with like life laws and some planeswalkers. Yeah, all right, Lava Mancer, get in this deck. We need you, Lava Mancer, now more than ever. A braid is pretty good, actually. Searing Spear or Avalanche Riders? Well, given that we can't attack, Avalanche Riders kind of sucks. So, Searing Spear, I guess. Hey, Dark Dwellers is actually a nice pickup. Okay, I like where we're at for the stipulation. I think we're doing a good job. Oh yeah, the Lava Mon. <laughs> I think Miki said that to me one time and I was like, Oh, Angrath is actually like a really good win condition. Wait, no, 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 no. No, that's Chandra, bad Chandra. I was confused, you see, because if only the Planeswalkers had text, I mean, pictures, maybe, just maybe, I could tell which Planeswalker it was. <laughs> Um, excited to first pick Angra? Don't mock me, Molly. You don't know my life. Kyrnos is also pretty brutal. Yeah, we could splash for Kyrnos if we could. We have the Creeping Tar Pit to make that happen as well. What if you have to attack? Um, no, 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 no. Like, that's the whole point. Like, we don't have to attack. We just won't ever attack. Profane Command is what we're hoping to wheel out of this pack. Profane Command would be legit in this deck. Uh... Well, Karn Liberated is the kind of card that does make your opponent just lose their will to live. So, Karn restarting the game with some nonsense is like an actual win condition, I think. I think you're not allowed to play Rabble Master. No, because you're forced. Oh, you're meaning like Rabble Master. I think it goes against the Spirit of the Stip. I don't think you can draft it. Or you can, I guess you could draft it, but not put it in your deck. You just shouldn't be able to play that card. Anyway, I like demoralizing our opponents until they scoop. So we're on the Karn plan. Nicol Bullas the Ravager is like pretty cool if we would get there, but we actually just got Banefire here and I think that's what we'd rather have. Um, 
free booty's not bad. But that only works if we think Banefire's gonna come back. What happens if our opponent plays Gideon Jira against us? Um, if the game rules force you to attack something, you, you have to do it. Like, you'd rather have Bolas, but maybe you're greedy. I mean, Bolas is really good if we ever get it to flip. Uh, oh, yeah, also, attacking the walkers is part of the step, so yeah, it's totally fine. Yeah, that's right. Dokubo, I was also like, no, I feel like that's totally legit. Maybe we do take Nickel Bolas and try to get some fixing. This card is really good on the backside. It's also a win condition. Exile all but the bottom card of target player's library. Kind of into that. Um, Bogard and Hellkite, huh? We're just never really casting Bogard and Hellkite, though. Outpost Siege is kind of interesting. I'm kind of into Outpost Siege, given that there's no splash here for us. What do we think of Outpost Siege, fam? Curious your thoughts on Jerry Thompson's protest. I think Jerry's the man. I think he like put his money where his mouth is, and I think it's so badass what he did. And it was really going to cost him, too. I think... I don't know. Jerry has more guts than I do. I, I would never dare do what Jerry's doing. I think that's like so badass. And the things that he's protesting are real things. So I think it's really awesome. Hmm. Yeah, Jerry's the man. All right, anyway, I'm taking Outpost Siege, I think. Yeah, bad for X and Arena. I mean, we don't take damage from it, which is kind of nice. Uh, I do like me that Inquisition of Kozilek. That Lumbering Falls doesn't splash anything and... Nothing else we really care for. Yeah, Inquisition is a nice pickup, actually. What is that message I got? I don't know, chat. What do you think of... Uh, what do you guys think of, of Jerry's uh, Jerry's gambit at the World Championship? I don't know. It's just so sweet. <laughs> he gave me a shirt. Sure I have the same hoodie. Oh, yeah, this is super comfy. It's starting to get a little colder here, so we're, we're back into, like, the hoodie territory. He was 99.9 being huff next year with this move. He'll recoup. I mean, he might get... A real promotional tour instead of a pro tour. <laughs> I don't know. Like, the wizard statement was pretty, like, half-hearted. Like, it wasn't... Ooh. I, I'm kind of digging that hour of devastation. Yeah, same, Darzog. That is my concern. I think that it's, like, it was, like, such a cool move. But I'm very unsure that it's going to cause anything. Like, Wizard's response was just so, like, we see your concerns and we acknowledge them. And it's like, uh, I don't really know that that's what's going on here. I don't know. I feel I feel bad for our pros. I just feel like our pros work so hard at doing what they do and, like, don't get what they, I feel, should get for what they do. I know that sounds very, that sounds extremely convoluted, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, Koth the Hammer is actually, like, a super legit win condition, because your mountains become... Splash Assemble? No, no, we can't assemble. That forces creatures to attack. Uh, you said, in the end, one person can't do it alone. Yeah, I mean, it does... Do you not need fixing? I do, but I also think Koth is really good. We can't attack with the mountains, that's fine. We can make mana, though. Um, hey, okay, see, this is cool, because now we can take the Dragon Skull Summit. Yeah, Koth is a real win con. Like, you get Koth to five, and then you start using your mountains for pinging. I know, Cupter's pretty bad in this deck, huh? We could take a Crater's Claws, but I, uh, we might wheel the um, Banefire. It's coming in, like, next pack, I think. And the Dragon Skull Summit is actually just, like, really nice fixing. So, Potato, I think we're going to wheel the... Um, the 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 bane fire i think it's like next pack also we can take profane command here yeah profane command we have a lot of fives though the dark dwellers probably are not playing the dark dwellers look really bad in this deck maybe the chandra pyromaster is not bad in this deck is it better than profane command though Nah, let's take Profane Command. I think Profane Command's gonna be really good at... Stoke the Flames. Slowing our opponents down and stuff. 
Whippo Variables doesn't do anything. Lockstone Warhammer doesn't really do anything. His Ink Quagmire is pretty bad. I guess Abbott's so bad in this deck. I guess we'll take the Abbott, but it's so atrocious. We did not wield a Banefire, huh? All right. I guess I'd rather take a Bogarden Hellkite for the sideboard. Domri. Nasty Chirasti. All right. Good beats. Is Strain my mortal thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Duress is pretty good. Hmm. Hey, Deniasis, how are you? Um, you're super welcome. Uh, Sam and I are on the same uh, stream team, and that was a lovely raid by her from the family. Welcome on in. We are playing some Magic the Gathering. A living pledge for magic was. I mean, like, the pros do make a living wage. The problem... Ooh. There's, like, a lot of action here, huh? There's a lot of action here. Our last card is what? Into the royal? Okay. Ugin's really good, but you guys, 8 mana is so much mana. Hippity long ears, thank you so much for the 22 months. And Perforos will be good in a different kind of deck. It's just like really not that great in this deck. And this is always target creature, right? Yeah, it's target creature, not... They do, Dokumoi. I think you like see a lot of the people who are not... I think the a, a lot of the people that, especially a lot of the people that like I'm friends with and, and we see a lot of, are more of the people who like have moved on to do stuff like game design. But there's a lot of the pros. They don't have a day job. They like all they do is you know make content, go to tournaments and stuff. Um, <laughs> Nickel Bullets Planeswalker, huh? I mean, it, it is a win condition to be to be clear. Um, so I kind of differentiate those Dokomori. I think if you're like full-time magic and you're doing making content, writing articles, doing coaching or whatever, I think then you are like doing it on magic. Um, and I think you are just dedicated to that fully. If you're just like, play, like if you do what Luis does, for example, if you like play in the pro tours, but you also like work at Direwolf, then I feel like you're not full in on magic. So I think, um... I'm not, I'm not trying to defend, like, how much the pros make. Obviously, I'm saying that I think they, they don't make enough. But you don't have a fire, Louise. Shut up. That's just not true. <laughs> what are we taking here? Probably just bonfire. I mean, it is... It is really good. It is really good to... Uh, well, not... That's not actually a win condition. Oh, man. Fight with fire is actually legit. I'm not throwing shade, but Luis doesn't have the fire. Don't believe him. If he says he's got the fire, you know he's lying. He's so far away from having the fire. <laughs> I hope we're not trying to win off a of bonfire. I mean, I think bonfire is just going to be good at wrathing some of their creatures. Like, we can also take incinerate. Incinerate might be better than fight with fire because... I don't know. It is nice when you just do get to kick and reverse that thing. Kick it and reverse that deal and dome him for 10. Imagine trying to win off Frost and on triggers. Take Emrakul the Promise then and hope that Mind Slavery causes them to scoop. It's the same thing as a twin thing, right? Like, what happens if they just don't scoop? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to take Fight with Fire. I think it's good enough to take. Oh, man. Also, we're not getting there in this Nickel Bolas, by the way. Uh, Liliana Vess is not a win con. Kakusha is not a win con. Some hot tatas. Uh, Inferno Titan is not actually a win con because we can't attack. Funnily enough, if you attack their Planeswalker with Inferno Titan, I think you can... I think it is legal in the rules of the stipulation to direct the damage to the opponent. I think that's legit. That seems like the best option for us, I'm afraid. Yeah. I mean, we could take Lightning Strike. It's so not good in this deck, though. 
I'll just take that. I just refuse to take Vest. She sucks. <laughs> hey, Underground Sea. Distended Mind Bender, Crux of Fate. Chain Lightning Goblin Guide, Batter Skull. Batter Skull's actually kind of nice at keeping our shit alive. Getting some life is big game. But I think Nickel Bullets is worth it. So let's take Underground C and see if we get there on the, that Nickel Bullets. What are you doing on the flip side? Each player discards a card, return target non blah, 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 blah. That doesn't help. Whenever you a creature dies, return to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of your next end step. That does not help in any way, shape, or form. Uh, yeah, that is true, Macaw. I guess Firebolt. Feels bad, man. Mm. <laughs> Bundling Grand Merchant totally works. Uh, Mimic Vat is totally out. I don't think that Green Merchant is good in this deck, though. That's the problem. We have Pheomancer. Sword doesn't do anything. We can't play Sword. We can't attack, so what good is Sword? Could we just Disfigure, maybe? I guess it's an okay blocker. I'll just take fire for the sideboard. I, I just don't think we're going to be playing. Hey, this is... Ooh. Liliana is good for us, but I really want that Blackleaf Cliffs. You like that pick? Yeah, I mean, it's just like we might need fire against like a small mono red creature deck or something. That Lily is much worse when you can't attack. That is, that is for, for goddamn sure. You are right about that, Molly. Um, these are all Garbo. Perforos is, I guess, the best thing, but we can't even, like, generate creatures with Perforos. Like, if, if it itself made a 1-1 one, one creature and then it burned people, maybe that would be one thing. But this Perforos is hitting the sideboard for now. Uh, Mom and Dad are actually not too shabby in this in this cube. We can use it to, or in this draft. Yeah, well, having Hordling Outburst doesn't make Perforos good. Mm, Olivia Voldarin could be very good to board in against some decks. Yeah, we're not. Not only not only does it mean not make uh, Perfros a good card in this deck, we're not playing Hordling Outburst in this deck. Also, uh, Liliana Vess Wield, what a shocker! Chain Lightning, Faithless Looting. I guess Faithless Looting is not too bad. Okay, so let's cut Hordling Outbursts, like, pretty atrocious. Just take that. Rift Bolt's not terrible. What are we cutting? So we have 27 cards. Did we get there on the Nickel Bolas? I really would like to play him. We have Creeping Tarpid Underground Sea. Our opponents are going to think we suck, is what they're going to think. They're like, why do they play a few minutes if they're not playing attacking with it? Why do they keep playing Koth and just ticking up? Uh. The only reason I would maybe consider playing Hordling Outburst here is because you can flash it back with Dark Dwellers and it's fodder for Siege King. Luis, I swear, if you want to lose your sword, this is how you lose your sword. Can you help me build this deck? I have a lot of cards and they're all bad. All right, I like the... Maybe I don't need the dress if I have the Inquisition. Fireball's kind of medium. It doesn't work with Lava Mancer either. A Braid, Lightning Strike, Searing Spear are all kind of whatever. Uh, a Fear Mancer here is down for Lily, Fight with Fire, Chandra Fire of Kaladish. Yeah, if we ever flip her too, she actually is a win con too. You can also go to Outpost Siege Perforos plan. What does that even mean? Hey everyone, just new here and checking out the stream. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hey Lord Beerus, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? We're just having a nice stipulation draft day. Ooh, that is, that is, that is a lot of rupees. Making it rain. I'm not sure if we want Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Like Perforos, Apusi, Chortling, Albers, the Fear Mancer, etc. 
Yeah, Ugin is an actual win con. It's just so expensive. I'm not a big fan of playing, like, Ugin in bad decks. Because we're not going to have a good... Like, we're not going to be very good at getting to the late game, I don't think. We're, like, a bad black-red control deck. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. We do have a lot of burn. Maybe Stoke the Flames is not necessary here. Gabby Stiff drafts the most compelling live magic content I could be watching right now. Kappa, no Kappa. <laughs> do you think Liliana Last Hope the is main deck worthy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very good at keeping you alive, too. We're not just in for win cons. We're also in for things that keep us alive. I think this Outpost Siege is pretty bad to me, but I don't know. Yeah, I can see cutting it. I wish we had, like, a Read the Bones. I think if we had a Read the Bones, I would snap kill the Outpost Siege. But Outpost Siege is kind of garbo. Maybe that's our cuts. Dress, Fireball, Stoke the Flames, Outpost Siege. Is Lava Mancer worth being in? Yeah, I think so. Um, all right. The last question is, do we cut... Yeah, I guess if we cut the Horling Outburst, we should cut for Froze, too. Do we want the Faith of Saluting? Kind of into the Faith of Saluting a little bit. What do we make room for that for? Or with? Oh my gosh. Wait, how good is this um, Dark Dwellers? Flashback of Braid, Lightning Strike, Searing Spear, Flashback Inquisition, Downfall, Fight with Fire. Yeah, yeah, this, 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 this Dark Dwellers is good. Looting is really nice with Lava Man, too. Would be nice with Firebolt, too. Maybe the Hour of Devastation is not great. Maybe Mom and Dad. But Mom and Dad are, like, pretty good blockers, and they deal damage, because you can block, sack, toss the creature at them. Can really cast bullets consistently. We have Underground Sea, Creeping Tarpid, Dragon Skull Summit, Black Leaf Clips. If we add an island, I think we can. You know, like, Profane Command? It is just a burn spell. It's not that profane... Okay, to be to be clear, Lord Beerus, it's not that the profane command is good. It's that the stipulation... Like, I think it's good for our stip. Did I miss super friends? No, we're gonna do that next, Fushino. I'm trying to figure out one card to cut for Faith of Looting or just send it as it is. Looting caught Bonfire. I do think Bonfire is just really good at, like, dealing with our creatures. And it also domes them. Maybe I just don't play Faith of Saluting. All right. Let me add this, 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 this. And I think we had one island, probably. I suggest five, seven, five. So what's our mana base real quick? Let me do some math real quick. Some quick maths. Quick maths. Okay, so for red sources, we have cliffs summit so that's two for black sources we have cliffs tarpid dragon skull summit and sea so that's four and then for blue sources we have tarpid and underground sea so that's two and then with the suggestions it would put us as three blue nine black nine red are we just a crappy burn deck well we, if we got Ashiok, we would be a mill deck, but we didn't see them. <laughs> yeah, Dion, that, that is very much the like stream motto. Okay, we're going to be 993. I think that's reasonable mana base. This deck is bad. All right, chat. Stipulation, we can't attack. How are we going to do with this deck? Let's hear it. I'm taking any and all predictions. 04? Oh, we certainly cannot 04. This looks like a 1 2 deck to me. Um, it looks like a 1 2 or a 2 1 if we get very lucky. 1 1 1. Well, we certainly we cannot draw online, so that's not going to happen. I mean, technically, you can't draw, but it's like almost impossible. Def 3-0, 2-0 drop. Wait, how would we 2-0 drop? We'd never 2-0 drop. We 0-2 drop, but we're never 2-0 drop. 0-0 drop. Chat has no faith, yo. 
I think it's matchup dependent. Yeah, I mean, there are some decks that we I think we'll have a good matchup to, and like this deck might work out. Dude, I love all the people who think we're gonna trophy with this. Spoiler alert: we're not gonna trophy with this deck. <laughs> I agree. Mid range can we can outplay? Yeah, we need to play not against the degenerate decks. We need to play against some like nice control decks. Um, probably keeping this. We can trophy with Orzov, we can trophy with this. Well, Orzov deck could at least attack. <laughs> Gabby, would you ever consider doing a stream where you go through all the Ravnica cards and talk about them? Oh, Mugen Kakor, somebody was asking me about that today. Um, let me actually play my Underground Seep with Fear of God in them. Uh, I have never thought about doing like a set review, but I've had a couple people ask about it and it makes me wonder if maybe I should. Um, ooh, a Braid's not a bad draw. We're playing against Botanical Sanctum. This could be good. I think we are not terrible against these decks. We cannot abrade that, unfortunately. They ran it into, into, into us, like no fear too. They weren't scared. Kind of streaming the LR set review. I know, the LR set reviews are very good. I, I don't listen to them as much anymore. Ooh, I'm gonna have to respond to the trigger. What did they reveal? Forest and Wolfier Silverheart. Let's see if they bin it. They bin the Wolfier Silverheart, but they obviously kept the forest. Interesting. That's a nice one. I predict you lose to three straight student of warfare decks. That's such a sad fate for one gooby. It's too much sadness for one for only one gooby. I think we should probably play P and Kieran by some time and eventually we'll just our devastation. If you if not, do you have the info on when LSV start review starts? Yeah. Um he already submitted like the first one, I think, to CFB, so that one should be coming out not too distant future. He starts working on them basically as soon as the set gets spoiled, so it does take him a while to go through them. They obviously take a long time. Opponent gonna be so confused when you don't attack. Oh yeah, I know. My opponent's gonna be like, "What? What are you doing?" <laughs> I might not do them in protest or laziness. <laughs> You're funny, Louise. Louise, how's tackling all the stuffs? Are you getting shit done? Hmm. I kind of like this. Um, we we can we don't attack here, and we also like you get to throw a thopter at a molly d. Hard casting will drifter when I have P and Kieran and thopters in play is like a little ambitious, I think, but that's also fine. How, what do you mean I'm gonna let you do the start? If you stop. Ah, uh, we're rouge. All right, we're gonna be throwing some thopters, yo. Oh, actually, given what just happened, I'm gonna throw them at face. Just chuck it straight to your face. <laughs> Good play, go face. Gosh, can we draw some lands? Look at our, our hands are actually kind of sweet, but we just have so much nonsense. Uh, we could hit them for three more. We can rack this as return their like three more cards and then. Next turn, our devastation. How am I gonna win without attacking? We have planeswalkers that can win. Um, like we, time to our devastation. My problem with our devastation in here, I mean, if they do play like hoof, it's pretty bad. Profane the card to, that doesn't work. This has a uh, hex proof. I think.
Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna rack this as return for two for three. Try to just get a little bit more out of their hand in the next turn will probably our devastation. We'll see. They binned Reclamation Sage, Rafellos, and Phyrexian Metamorph. Okay, now I just gotta hope that this isn't like an enormous thing. Life Crasher's Bestiary? That's pretty good. This doesn't look that big though. Pfft, that's rough. All right, we're just gonna throw everything under the bus here. Well, I'm really glad we get to actually our devastation, the, the Edric. I'm just gonna save as much damage as I can, let those two Thopters get in. That is a lot of draw. They get to draw two. Eh. They go back up to three. Obviously they have the left grassroots bestiary, which is a problem, but then we get to our devastation them here. That's not too bad. Wish we'd have drawn a land though, my gosh. Give me a land, how hard can it be? Okay. Lava Mancer can start pinging some other things too. They could also animate Lumbering Falls and start getting in there. <sighs> Tender Shoe Dryad. Yeah, we're gonna have to profane command that thing. It's a sorcery, so unfortunately they're gonna get a thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna kill it dead. We're gonna kill it real good. <laughs> they have the Siggy's Blessing, don't they? So we profane command, we just profane command and Grim Lava Mancer. I mean, at some point we're gonna get to this, um, yeah, we're, we can bring back Pia, yeah. So target player, target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, no. Return target creature card with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, then target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. So that would be Pia and Kieran kill Tendershoot and go Oh, wait, we can't, we can't do it unless we don't play the Lava Mancer, which maybe is fine. Oh, I'm sorry, it brings it back to play. I, I'm a, I'm a silly goose. Yeah, not playing Lava Mancer, I think, is okay. I think it's still worth it. So now they can't attack with a Sapperling. If they attack with a Lumbering Falls, I might just chomp. I don't want them drawing more cards. The Escalate Dialogue Chimp are really bad. If they, if, cause if they just told you pick which ones you want, as opposed to giving you every option, <laughs> you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so silly. The Edric is dead, yeah. <laughs> I was living in a world where Edric is still around. All right, we need to really cast Ugin does still manage to take care of this nonsense. They're going off. I wonder if they're attacking. They might not attack. Do you remember the 21st sub of September Hunter? Thank you. I appreciate you that. Welcome back. The 21st sub of September. That was a great draw. Just the best. Actual the best. Um The question is what do we carn? You want to nug the best, Jerry? I do, because like once we get that Ugin in play, we're just gonna win, and the best Jerry is the only thing that's like getting them out of this situation. Yeah, okay, I like nugging the best Jerry too. Agreed. Bye bye. Okay, I, Karn's gonna die here, but then once we resolve Ugin, I think we're in the money. Matt Nas is how's he doing? Oh no, did he not do well? Oh, Matt Nas is one two. What? Stupid.
Okay, we desperately need to draw land next turn. Nah, I still like nugging the best Jerry Moranga. This is going at me, this is going at Karn. This is going at me, and this is going at me. So one of these should block here. Um, I want to leave this here so if I draw a land, I can Ugin and protect from the... I, I can tick down and then protect it from the Botanical Sanctum. So let's just block here. Nice! He attack, but he also protect. Um, double blocking the Hydra sounds horrible. <laughs> Karn still dies and we lose both Thopters. Uh, this is a minus four situation, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he don't attack, he just protect. <laughs> All right, cool. So they're on zero cards. We got rid of their... Um, Best Jerry and the Thopter's gonna take one for the team for the Lumbering Falls. But they top deck something big. That sucks. I mean, that does kill the Worm Coil. And then I can plus my Ugin. I guess I can make it so that like Lava Mancer is. Yeah, I can I can leave a room for Lava Mancer. I do want to reveal this. I'm gonna tap. This doesn't target Metal Stage. All right. Yeah, Lava. Cast for its miracle cost. Target you. Yeah, so we're gonna do it for six. So now I can Ugin tick up. To kill the lifelink one, play the lava man to take one for the team. Who said earlier that we should sideboard bonfire? Uh, no one said that. I think people were just like, God, we're, we're on the bonfire plan, aren't we? Because it's just like really not the plan you want to be on. <laughs> okay. So luckily, Ugin is not dead. They're all coming all at Ugin. Yeah, we have to block one of this one. Yeah, Hex Provis cheat. All right, we need to top something like sweet. Big game, not land. Come on. Big game. Big game. Uh, that's not big game exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this costs nine, right? So I guess we just dome them, let them attack our Ugin. Yeah, and then we have to rip another burn spell. It seems like the way we win this game. All right. Okay, so we need a land and then we need a burn spell. This is not looking good. So I think I want to board in Olivia Voldaren against them. Seems like Olivia's actually good. Like, oh, we haven't seen anything like a hoof. Okay, Castle to Kicker. Um, what does the clock look like? No, what do our burn spells look like? Lava Mancer's out, Lightning Strike and a Braid. I'm trying to figure out if killing the 1-1 one -one matters, yeah. 
Uh, I guess it doesn't, from what I can tell. Yeah, and Angrath only does two, so we want that as a live draw. So let's just dome them for ten. Siege Gang also matters for two. Okay. We basically have one turn to draw either a burn spell or something like a Siege Gang commander. All right. It's time to the, for the top deck gods, please. I'm so... Oh, come on! We're so close. What's our next draw? Nope. Nope. Okay, we were... I mean, that would have been good, but we were not going to draw Burn Spell. So, against them, I'm kind of into the Olivia Voldaren plan. I like the Rift... No, sorry, not the Rift Bolt. I like the Fire. Can't attack Walkers either. No, we can attack Walkers. And I like the Olivia Voldaren. I like it better than probably Kotha Hammer. The funny thing is no attack step didn't even look suspicious that game. Yeah, there were like a couple times that maybe we could have... Uh... Oh, you know which what looked bad that game? Profane Command looked pretty freaking bad that game. I think I'd rather have like... Um, this is 40. Maybe we just play that. Yeah. Oh, hey, the old jug continuing that sub. And also the gaming champ. Welcome back with the two months. I appreciate you both continuing your sub to the stream arena. Thanks for supporting the stream, y'all. Man, that, that game was interesting. We were really, we put ourselves on the spot to actually win. I liked how we played that game. Okay, um, lightning strike into the dark dwellers. I feel like this is a keep. It's a slow keep. But we get to bolt one of their first things and then dwellers kill another thing. This seems good enough. Yeah, if they didn't top deck worm coil, I think we're in the money. Yeah, and our deck does want a lot of lands, so like keeping a lot of lands I think is a fine thing. Cool, they didn't have a one drop. That is, okay, we, we're done drawing lands though, please. We're done. <laughs> Muta Vault. I mean, there's a chance we kill a Muta Vault. That would be kind of nice. Come on, stop with, with the lands. This is stupid. Can't kill a carry it did. Raw row. Okay, well, that's something to use all of our lands for, I guess. We do have enough lands in hand to cast that eventually, so that's not a bad draw. Um, I'm gonna let that keep its counters because I think they might attack with Muta Vault. Gosh, that grieves again, huh? They're not sending with Muta Vault? All right, we're lightning striking that thing. Nickel Bull is the Ravager, huh? So let's go Dark Dwellers Dome them. Yo, how are you? Uh, that name. Welcome on in. We really need uh, to draw blue swords next turn. If we draw blue swords, I think our game's gonna be much better. The Graves is annoying. They tap the Muta Vault. Is this like a Wolf or Silverheart or something? Or mana? Wolf or Silverheart would be a beating. That's true, Molly. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well. That's funny. 
It has a menace, right? Yeah, we can't block it. Oh! That's not a bad draw. Not bad at all. Bam. Now it doesn't even look suspicious that we're not attacking because we want to block the Goblin Dark Dwellers. <laughs> hey, PF! The first non-prime sub I've ever renewed. Aw, PF, thank you so much for choosing the, the stream. Sub I've ever renewed. That's so sweet of you. I appreciate that. Can Sark deck dwells for two damage? Oh my gosh, this is a goblin? I didn't know that. Tender Shrewd Dryad, huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to kill that thing. Mm, we're gonna have to kill the Lightning Greaves at some point. This seems a reasonable block, right? Do they have the Siggy's Blessing? Not yet. Oh, That is nice. All right, we just want to make sure that they don't kill our Karn. So we should Karn the Lightning Greaves and then we can just block everything. Yeah, I think we just Karn the Boots. Gotta get them boots. Let's get some shoes. Boots. Your boots are mine now. All right, now we have to take care of the Tender Shoe Dryad. Uh, we gotta upkeep it. Or is, does this do it at upkeep? At the beginning of each upkeep, feels bad, man. Those boots are made for Shroud. I know, Wahoo. It's so old, right? Our deck must look so confused about our opponent. Yeah, our deck does look like it's just like, what are you even doing? Okay. Uh, I don't particularly want to trade three goblins and stuff for protecting this Karn, so. What else, huh? The Greaves equipped for zero is bullshit. <laughs> I think it's very stupid. I actually kind of would like to draw a land because a land lets us toss a Siege Gang Commander to the Tender Shoe Dryad and also play Angrath. Oh, the Lifecrasher's bestiary. Why? Lava man, huh? So I kind of think we're on the like, kill the Tender Shrew Dryad so they don't get another counter next turn. And then, wait, can I do both? No, I believe this costs, oh, it's only two. Yeah, 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 you're right. That does work, huh? So, we don't want Karn dead, which means we have to go upstairs. We got an Edric, all right. We gotta shoot this thing now because we can't let them get more tokens. And now we can play an and Grath, because our creatures are like pretty shitty still, and start taking up and make him discard um, and lose life. Okay, and now we just leave these two back. Cool, so as long as they don't like play something enormous, I think we're in pretty good shape here. You said, Penguin, hey friends, I can't read, so is this a weird step? Yeah, it's a uh, we can't attack. It is a weird step. They control magic, my siege gang commander. That sucks. Mutaval also getting in. That was rude, wasn't it? <laughs> I bet they're gonna attack with it and break our step and it's all over. They're going at me. This is all going at Angrath. All right, let's go here. Nice. Glad 
Glad they let me activate it. Um. Kind of feel like maybe we should try to go for like. Cause we can play, we can play basically everything here. I wonder if we should keep ticking up. I think maybe we should. Maybe we're supposed to try to go for like the ultimate. I don't think the control magic is even that big a deal. Yeah, I don't think they know that- I don't think they've noticed that they can, Molly. Or, now they realized. <laughs> they let me activate Angrath? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, we're gonna have to kill the best Jerry next turn, I think. Yeah, we're not in a terrible spot. I don't mind our spot, though they are drawing. They are drawing really well, fuck. We can exile that now, but we're gonna have to wait another turn to exile the best Jerry. But we do have to Karn that. Oh, Greaves would've owned us this game. I'm really glad we took care of them. They were very important to, like now Wormcoil would be attacking Karn. God, it would be so bad. It would be bad. Oh, are we on the suicide Karn plan? Yeah, I'm not I'm gonna let Karn take it. I, I don't particularly want to sack my lava man. That was a pretty interesting draw. We could put, um... <laughs> oh no, we forgot to attack with. Yeah, I'm thinking about reanimating Siege Gang. Like, flipping Nicol Bolas, reanimating Siege Gang. And Karn kills the Worm Coil Engine, and then they can't attack Karn. Yeah, that sounds really good. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, we forgot to attack! <laughs> Get back to the Siege Gang. And then exile the worm. All right, the g yeah, the gang's back together. Look at this. All right, the next turn we'll have to kill the best Jerry. <sighs> All right, now the nickel balls is gonna be how we win this game. What do we have under here? Greaves and an Edric, I think we got. Oh, the worm coil. Oh boy, I keep drawing stuff. Come on. Come on. How are we gonna kill them next turn? Stroke of genius? All right, well, we got the Ragdus's return on the ready. Yo, Ethereal, thank you. Yeah, 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 we, we've got the Ragdus's return. We've got it covered. Uh, I think we just go face with the double D and the Angrath. Nice, we got an extra land for it. That's pretty nice. Hey, now you can ultimate card and actually kill them. Yeah, we're we're we're, ma we're working our way up there. Uh, let's. Okay, now we can carn the best Jerry because I really think we should carn that best Jerry. Um, we are gonna draw two cards with you. That's not bad, but we're just gonna wreck. This is return them for like everything. Six. Should we play around like... No, they have two mana up, so we should just top out. Oh yeah, it, it is a hell of a stipulation. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna get this game for what it's worth. We lost game one. We were very close to winning. Uh, Hanger by Walker is not a problem. They are just dead, aren't they? Pew, 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 pew! 
well, yeah, deck is what is our deck busted? It's it's busted in that it's probably just broken. Like our deck is broken. <laughs> it is a broken deck. It is dysfunctional. Um okay, what are what else are we bringing in? Is that has opponents scoop because they were down to an attack? No, no, no. We this is the beginning of the draft, so it hasn't happened yet. Um <laughs> I did like our like hordling the hordling outburst I think might be legit in this in this uh, matchup. I like think I like it better than Chandra Fire Kaladesh. Uh, I like our plan of ultimate the last hope an opponent concedes without realizing the step. Yeah, we can totally do that too. Yo, our prime, welcome on in. How are you? Welcome one our prime. Welcome all our primes. Uh, I think we can keep this. Jesus, this Ugin. Yo, yo, Cloud Blazer, how are you? If we got another red sword, we just have a Horling Outburst to protect. Uh, pff, what do we think of this hand? It's a little, like, mana light, but... Maybe we should be playing one less spell... Protect, but also attack, except no attack. Uh, oh no, come on. Can we draw some lands, please? We, like, super desperately need it. That sucks. That also sucks. Land! No, not like this! Um... I know, that would've been so sick this turn. I guess mom and dad. Yeah, we might just want 18 lands in this deck because all of our spells, like we have so many X spells. Poly K, huh? Well, we can kill that if we, nice. And I think we should, in fact. Pew, pew, pew! Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Anthony. Uh, what else is, like, the hard counter to Liliana of the Veil, vale, unfortunately for us? That is a good draw, except it comes in a play tapped. So... I guess we just, maybe we Lily start ticking up. I just watched the VOD where you show the show and tell us the Emrakul trigger never has seen you happier. Oh, it's so good, flower power. That, that was just a clinic and why you don't play show and tell. Show and tell sucks. Um... I'm just gonna Hordling Outburst. Cause it's gonna, I'd rather play Lily when I can protect her. Cause they can attack Lumbering Falls and send. Currently the Nickel Bolas, I think, Lavish. We're not close to casting it. This is Legacy Cube, yeah, Anthony. Oh boy. That's pretty good, huh? I guess we can abrade the Batter Skull. Double batter skull. The second batter skull sucks. Uh, I kind of do want one of these dead because of the lily. We really needed to draw land there. At some point we can Dark Dollars the Hordling Outburst again. That's going to be really nice. Um, no, I got to upgrade the, the, not the original. This is, uh... I think we're supposed to kill the, the, the Metamorph. And I think I should do it now. Do you want them to rebuy the clone effect or the original batter skull? I don't 
know. This is a tough spot. I think I'm supposed to kill the batter skull. Or sorry, the the this one. Why now? They're a blue deck. They could have a counter spell. You said it's better to kill the original so they can regrowth and clone. This sucks. Maybe it is just a metamorph. All right, I'm gonna kill the metamorph. Feels bad, man. I'll leave this behind. If we draw a land and then we play the Dark Dwellers and play a bunch of goblins, like they're gonna gain a lot of life, but we still have ways of coming back in this game. Frost Titan is a huge problem. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take that. Oh boy. We can just jam Lily, have them sack, and they sack the Karyatid, and then they attack, and we chump, they block one of these, we chump here, and then Lily dies anyway. Ugh, we're in a really bad spot. I really don't like where we're at. Well, I guess if that's the attack, we would just not chump. Because there's no reason to. Gabby, okay, can you describe what makes the trade pizza so gas? I'm confused by the pack one pizza, pizza post. Um, So it's like fluffy, but it's also like nice and crispy. So it feels like this like really light pizza that's also really tasty. And they're both coming at me. They don't care about no lily. No, they are tapping this. I think we should prevent six. We'll take four. But Lily's alive, which is good. Five. Indian food for lunch. Oh, man. Are you are you happy, Louise? You're free. Free from your ball and chain. You can order Indian food. What was abraded? Aphorexian Metamorph was abraded. That is so fucking sadly close to being good. So I guess we're on the like tick Lily up, play Dark Dwellers, flashback, hordling outburst. That's so unfortunate. We're gonna bin the hour devastation because it doesn't do anything. Oh, we can Dark Dwellers and abrade the batter skull. Yeah, and then they still have the worm coil. Ugh. I, so the reason I like binning or like getting back the Horling Outburst is to just buy some time. So I think I'm just going to get, I think I am just going to get the Outburst. Because like Bite with Fire also doesn't kill. All right. We just want to buy some time with, with this. Make some blockerinos, maybe make them sack again next turn and try to draw enough lands. Like Siege Gang can then maybe make some more chumpers and then eventually Ugin. The problem is that Worm Coil Engine. Ugin can't deal with the Worm Coil Engine in any way. Tell us about your dislike of Indian food. I don't dislike it, it's just like not my favorite food. I was gonna say archetype, but that's definitely not a <laughs> that's definitely not a thing. And Luis really likes it, so we never get it when we're together. Uh, hey, Moses, welcome on in. They're all coming at me. Got 
kind of make them suck. Oh, okay, we're like barely hanging on here. I'm not really sure how we're supposed to get out of this situation. Molly D, are they hard casting it? Yeah, they are. Yeah, the problem is this Ugin is not an out. We're also like not that close to casting this Ugin. They could have sent with Lumbering Falls. I should actually chump this because Mole Drifter is going to kill me next turn otherwise. Yo, dear Dirty, how are you? Welcome on in. We're doing a very silly stipulation. It's called We Can't Attack. And so far, we are losing. <laughs> Overgrown Battlement, huh? Oh my gosh. That Hour of Devastation doesn't look too bad now. <laughs> we fought hard, chat. It was an honor losing with you. All right, let's try to see if we can get. So we we speculated what like a one two for this deck probably. Oh, hold on, hold on, time out. I think I really did not like this profane command in the deck, and I think I really would like to have just like another black source in the deck. You said, how does that work? Have you and Chad discussed the pro drama going on? Uh, kind of a little bit. I basically said that I stand with Jerry. I think he's doing a really cool thing. Not even like cool. Um, but rather brave. Yeah, for sure. He's he's doing something that is like very costly to him and I think it's for a very good cause. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think it's all, all around. I think it's awesome. Can anyone explain the situation? Yeah, basically, I mean, it's easier if you go on Reddit, but Jerry's protesting the state of the pro, of how wizards handles like the pro community and how they handle like pro magic right now. And so in protest, he, he is qualified for uh, the world's champ the world championship this weekend and he decided not to play and a mulligan this hand this is better i'll keep that on top um so so in protest he just decided not to play which is like big game <laughs> Oh, interesting. Yeah, we could uh, we could go for the Chandra flip. I think that might be good. So I won't play the Lava Man on two, especially because we know that the four the the mountains on top. Yeah, I saw that DC. Oh no. Never mind. We're not going for the. Oh, then I'm thinking of something else, DC. I saw something funny, but I don't know. Okay, we got a Lava Man, sadly. Because otherwise they're going to go on two. Yeah, we're going to have to Lightning Strike something on two. This is just not going to work. Oh, yeah, Jerry went to the World Championship and everything. He was just, like, slow rolling it. <laughs> But what about the announcement to start selling sealed product via Amazon by Watsi? I think that's just whatever. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think we're probably just gonna have to wait on this Chandra. This Lava Mancer is not attacking, obviously, and we're just gonna have to Probably at the beginning of combat, kill the Bomat. It kind of depends on what they do on three. Oh, 
Um, yeah, I don't think it was like a lot of little things at Worlds, to be fair, Krista. I don't think he decided last minute from what I understand. Uh, yeah, I think at the beginning of combat is when I do this. I don't really want it to get more, more nonsense. Okay, they didn't play anything? That's kind of good for us, I guess. <laughs> this feels like a true mirror match. Actually, kind of like abrading this thing. Yeah, I'm going to abrade the Chandra and kill the Lava Mancer. That sounds really nice. Then they then they can't kill my Lava Mancer, and then I get to untap with Chandra Torch, uh, Fire Kaladesh or whatever. Yeah, this this seems fine. They're down to three cards, four cards. So we're we're actually holding, holding holding our own against them. I'm more if this got to be like the three two that that gets menace. Yeah, Irish. I'm in that one. Uh, I remember first hearing about the Pro Tour as a noob to Magic, and I thought it sounded amazing. I do enjoy watching it, but when I saw how hard it was to make, how little pros actually play or make, it was sad. And the yeah, yeah, no, you're not wrong about that. Um, you're not wrong about that, Rob. So they had an Abbot of Carol Keep. I hope they brick. Oh my gosh, they got a Chain Lightning. God, they had such a sick turn. Damn it. Yeah, opponent's not running too bad. We are gonna need some help. Come on, Koth. Come on! I mean, that's still good. <laughs> yeah, I look, I, I was gonna complain that I'm not getting a land, but this is fine. <laughs> Classic no attacks, no blocks, Lava Mancer. Look at that. <laughs> Chichu, I like watching it. I hope they keep making it better. They, I think they are working on some stuff, but... Oh, man. Stop. Um... I don't know what their last card is, but I kind of feel like cause take down and play Searing Spear. Alternatively, I could just Searing Spear and then play Koth next turn and then Koth starts ticking up and then Elemental keeps attacking it. Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's Spear that bad boy. Let's move along with our life. All right, we need to draw something good. We need like a Siege Gang Commander. Where's, where's that stuff? Goblin Dark Dwellers in a land. I really didn't want to get paired up against something like Mono Red. I think that's a tough matchup for us. The discourse about Living Wage is wild. People are like, this card game isn't a job. If you want that, play poker as if that's... Yeah, it's not like playing poker is that much different. Totally agree with that, by the way. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. This is the, like, stipulation cough. <laughs> if we do stick this Ugin, we're gonna be in good shape. Oh, come on. No, that was a top deck too. Stupid.
Yeah, they could have waited too. They could have waited on the conscripts and taking it on our ult or something. They're taking our mountain? But why though? Are they just planning on attacking? Oh, they changed their mind. They, they, they want to kill Koth. Sure. I think if I were them, I would have just waited on the Cells Conscripts and then taken the ultimate. It's like a hell of a win condition in their deck. Well, that was a good draw. All right, so here we're just gonna take some damage. I'm pretty sure, so that we can, following the turn, start blocking and then tossing goblins. We can, we can take three against them. We're at just at 11. It's not that big a deal. If they play something like Hellrider or a dragon, like, we will be pretty unhappy about this. Come on! This sucks. I think I might use two goblins to kill the Sellas here. Like, block with two and toss one. <laughs> I'm amazing at drawing Karnanugan. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna double block and then I'm gonna toss one of them. You say that again, but Karn sucks, so we can clip it for later use. This is so mean. This is, this is bullying. Uh, target you, pay two. Toss one of these. Hey, Ark, how are you? Welcome on in. Okay, cool. Land? Please. We're playing 18 lands. Okay, that's a start. Cool, 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 cool. This is a good start. The big boys are waiting. Siege Boy misses damage on the stack. He sure does. All right, they've drawn eight lands. To be fair, we have played a very long game. All right, land, please. That's a very acceptable draw. As long as they don't, like, play a st stupid dragon or something, I think we'll be in fine shape. Nice, Dokomoi. That's awesome. Uh, what deck did you get? boo doop boo 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 doop boo, -boo. Don't play a big something. They have three cards in hand. What is, is it all lands? <laughs> oh yeah, that, that would be nice if we actually like take up Karn enough to restart this game and restart the game with Ugin. Though I will say, I don't think I really want to restart the game against Mono Red. Like, we were pretty lucky to get to this point of the game against them. Don't really know what the point of that was. Maybe they want to kill my Ophiomancer. Brimstone Volley? No, they, they already played Brimstone Volley. Uh, toss this at them. Sack this thing. Yep, sack to its own ability. You better believe it! Yo, Kavu, how are you? Mysterious Kavu up in here! Okay, we're down to 10. Land, please! Give me a land! I want it so bad! Please! Yes! Amazing! Amaze! Okay. Uh, hey, Takor, how are you? Welcome on in. We're doing a stipulation today. The stipulation is we cannot attack. I think we might be on the restarting the game plan. We'll see. Because I might have to... I, 
Oh my gosh. No, don't let us die to this. Come on, don't do it. Oh my god, they have fireball in the yard. This is horrible. Okay, we, we are definitely on the exile plan. Yeah, I think I'm gonna plus exile Ugin. Target myself. And I'll play my Angrath. Exile Ugin. Um, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, Louise. What, what can I tell you? We have to restart the next turn or they have to like firebolt the Karn. But if that's the case, I think I should play my Angrath. So we can just take up and start burning them. Oh my gosh, no! They drew Bane Fire! No! They drew Bane Fire? God damn it. That was stupid. I will say that even though the stipulation is very hard, I feel like most games we've been very close to killing them. They've just like, our opponents have peeled very well this draft. Let's get Dress and Firebolt up in here. Um, I think... This bonfire is good. The Ragdus' return is kind of medium. So is the Ugin. Hordling Outburst is good. The only time I've ever carded myself was to get my Kiki under when I had a Fester. My gosh, and they all they were at zero too, so we know they drew it. <laughs> That's true, Ark. I like I like that plan. Uh, maybe bring back Stoke. Let's get rid of Nickel Balls. I think that's a little slow. One year. Oh my gosh, Jamie! That's a sub anniversary. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate that. How are you? Woo! Thanks, Jamie. How are you doing, sweetie? We are. Doing a very silly stipulation. Um, and I don't know if we're gonna get there. Our devastation is like a little slow, I think. I know, I'm so excited for Avnica too. I'm like so done with M19. I've been I've been done with M19 for a while. <laughs> mm. The hour seems kind of bad. We have a lot of spot removal and I don't know. It doesn't feel like the hour's the hour just feels really slow. Uh, this looks like a keepable hand, but my gosh, we need another red source for this. Keep. Uh, would we have one if we could attack? Uh, I think so. Maybe. We, we missed like 10 points of damage. <laughs> we also would have played very differently. We got fire bolted. Red source? Red source, any red sources. Okay, that's not bad though. Liliana, last hope was no attack step, I know. Uh, my favorite guild, so I think my favorite guild in terms of like play style is probably is it, but I think like alignment wise, I align with Boros. Oh man, that was a really good draw. Hells yeah. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go into the goblins never attacking plan once more. Everyone's gonna think we're such cowards, just like, Look at this person, always has goblins, never attacks. Uh, do we just fight with fire that Chandra? It like, it's gonna suck if they ever play something that's bigger than the three and then we can't kill it. I like all the guilds, therefore I dislike all the sealed packs. That's fair. Punch him with justice? Did we punch him with fire? I think I kind of just want to lightning strike this thing right now and not even... I don't want to let them untap and burn us. Like, there's no point for that. Also, was that a dragon for a second? I swear... I swear that looked like a Thunderbrick regent, which I know sounds so... I, I'm not actually sure if that's what it was. <laughs> we hit a mountain? Yeah, oops, forgot to attack again. My old drowsy paranoia is spreading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm just, 
Wait, Underground Sea still in the deck? I, I, I cut out the Nickel Bullets. Okay, well, we have nothing to play here. We're not getting- we're getting to that card, though. You don't own a Helm of the Host? I feel like that was one of the cards I own online more than a lot of other cards, because I liked playing and drafting that card. Yeah, exactly, Walrus. Too lazy to attack. Um... Kind of I'm okay if I put two goblins in front of this and they use a burn spell in for one of those. I don't know, Molly, there's an argument. If you block with two and then they go face, you trade with that thing. And if they go... Oh, no, 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 that's right. They have the Lava Mancer up. All right, I'll just block with one, see what they do. Forgot about the Lava Man. It also means that they use the the firebolt from their yard, which I would like them to use. I might actually have to fight with fire, the stupid abbot. Depending on what they play. Hi, Jackal Pupperino. Yeah, we're gonna fire the... You're fired! All right, now we have blocks for the Jackal Pup and the Lava Mancer too. The next turn we're in, in the money for Karn. All right. We do need to draw like, some action. We need like a Siege Gang Commander or something. Goblin Dark Dwellers, that would be amazing. Hey Costas, we're down a match and we are down a game here. We also had such a sick play. We were gonna restart the game with, we're gonna restart the game with Karn. And an Ugin underneath it, and then our opponent top deck Bane Fire when they had zero cards in hand. It sucked. Okay, so we're gonna have to block the pop. I mean, they might just. Maybe they should have just fire bolted so they, their Jackal Pup could get in. Like, this just sounds. It just sounds wrong what they're doing right now. Oh my gosh. See, I told you I saw Thunder Rig region earlier. That's why it was there. Now oh, we're gonna lose this game. We are... If we can't take up and go to 10, they can love a mancer and put it to eight to hit with Thunder Rig for another four, five, six. So, I mean, I guess it's buying us some time, right? You said deck is just setting you up for the top deck again. We've been so close. I feel like we've had those two matches that were so close. That's an Iron Shaman, huh? We probably flip that next turn. No, we, we cut the Ugin. We can't top deck Ugin. We have a lot of things we can top deck. Like if we had Bonfire at some point, we're in the money. 13 out of 24 people in red, black on worlds looks like. Jeez, that's a lot of red, black. It is the best deck. And I am not going to miss that format. That was bad. Just gonna keep going upstairs. I'm gonna keep playing lands for bonfire. We get to kill the thunder break. We'll see what they flip off of this iron shaman, but like Karn's still alive somehow. Drawing hero's downfall was good. They're going at Karn, sure. I bet it's all the same old, same old Dokomoi. My guess is it's just all same old, same old. Oh, they got a bow mat. Okay, we're really need to draw bonfire now. Bonfire, please. Okay. 
rough. They're down to zero. We get bonfire. We're in this. All right, let's see how they attack. We might be able to keep Karn alive. Okay, they attacked in such a way where I can actually keep Karn alive, huh? We don't have Ugin. We boarded him out. I thought he was a little too slow against this deck. I know. Where's our Ugin now? Karn has... We're, we're, the only reason we're alive is because of Karn. Okay, we're ready for Bonfire the Dam now. We cannot win without it. Please! Can plays can Thunderbreak hit Planeswalker with trigger? No. That's like a bonfire. I think we might have to Karn down the Iron Shaman and then the Braid. Yeah, I think we have to Potato. We're just so close to being dead. Sucks. We might try to Jeturkey them and see. Like it, unfortunately, it gives them another trigger with a Bowman Courier. But we could see if they just send one thing at Karn. Though if they don't attack with Lava Mancer, they just kill my Karn. So I, I do think I want to wait, but this just doesn't look good. Alternatively, we abrade this right now. They don't get to draw that card, and they just, they're on their live draw, and they have to send one thing at Karn. I think I like the upside of potentially keeping our Karn around, because we're just, we have so little going on in this game. I think if this Karn dies, we're definitely out of it. Okay. They're sending Lava Man at me. Hold on, I, I think I need to upgrade this thing. They, I can't save Karn. They sent two things at Karn, unfortunately. And I don't want to let them draw another card. So we're going to take one from the Lava Mancer. But now if we hit Bonfire, maybe we're back in this. No, PF, I was waiting to see how they attacked. They didn't fall for it twice. Yeah, we actually managed to do it one time. Uh, technically not dead, I guess. I should play this in case we have Bonfire. But I, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to see if we could keep Karn alive. Last time they attacked Karn with exact damage, so I think if that turn they sent only one creature at Karn, I was gonna kill the creature that was attacking Karn. That's why I waited. Boros Reckoner. Oh no! Boros Reckoner is so bad is so good against Bonfire. Okay, yeah, we're dead. Can we see what we're drawing? Mm, that would have been good, like, oh come on! Are we dropping? I kind of feel like we can one two. I really think that we can get there. We had like so many matches that were so close where opponents like top deck the shit out of us. <laughs> I think we can one two. I don't want to drop. We can one two with this deck. I believe I believe in us. I believe we we can do it. Can't block just mono red. That yeah yeah. Attacking is important. I mean, we've had drafts where we have gotten there without attacking as much. I, we can keep this. We don't have black, but I think we can. We have so many red cards. We'll we'll sort it out. This hand will sort itself out. Make my other dreams a reality. No, I believe in us, chat. I believe in us. Ooh, we get to bolt the bird on too. Nice. Yeah, they was not, we could not draft blue-black. I think if you draft blue-black and you have like Ashiok and stuff like that, you're actually, 
Oh, let's see what they name. Liliana! Uh, oh, the Dark Realms is a good name there, I think. Yeah, that's a good question. Though I will say that if they're playing against Black Red, it's like not insane to name something like Siege Gang or Pia. But Lily of the Dark Realms is a good choice. I think I would name Chandra Torch of Defiance if I were them. Really? If they have Sword of War and Peace and they're attacking, I'm just gonna block. That's really surprising to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a different Chandra, aren't I? I want to play this so that if they play a small creature next turn, I can bolt it with this and then just play my Tarpit. Okay. Protection from red and from white. When it deals combat damage to a player, sort of wooden piece deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in their hand, and you gain one life for each card in their hand. So. I know, Molly. We are getting wrecked, aren't we? I can't send two things here yet. So maybe we just go mountain, siege gang. No attacks. Yeah, you're right. I was thinking Liliana, um, the last hope. <laughs> well, we know our opponent's definitely not ghosting if they named that one. Or they're confused about which one they named. Either one is very reasonable. They took my siege gang. Sure. They can actually toss the Siege Gang if they so feel like. Oh. They're potting away my Siege Gang? That's so nice. I'm so jealous. God damn. We're gonna lose so badly. Yo, Jinam, how are you? What are they getting with six? What are, they're probably gonna get prime time. We're gonna feel bad. <laughs> well, Man of the Sea and Pod are actually... You know what's unfortunate? I feel like we played against decks that I don't think are very good, but our deck is also not coming close to... Wait, what? They just potted it away into nothing? Well, then. Yeah, we have to kill that thing now. We have to play this and go... One, two, three. Sack the Stopter... No, we can't play tarp at this turn, PF. Can't can't do it, won't do it. No attacks. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if our opponents just think we like don't have any idea what we're doing. They probably think that. Ooh, we get the card that thing. Creature or land card. What if they just hit a land? That'd be so sick. Deranged Hermit. God damn, that's a really good one. Oh, man. Uh, so we can actually... Wait, we, we can attack their Planeswalkers, right? So we can send every single Goblin at Vivian and then, like, Karn away the what? The pod, maybe? And then Vivian gets to activate one more time. But I think that gets us the most value here. And then exile the pod, I think. Because otherwise we're going to pod. Why are we attacking? The one exception to the stipulation is we can't attack their planeswalkers. 
Um, the question now is, do we kill the Sword of War and Peace or the Birthing Pod? Yeah, we had a whole poll about this. I think we get rid of the sword. Because they're about to play Drange Hermit, but we saw that they can't pot anything out of a five because they didn't pot anything out of the Siege Gang. So... It's still more dangerous to have the pot around depending on what they hit, I guess. We could go upstairs. Actually... I kind of like that. Yeah, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Someone is still finding a way to go face on. <laughs> Good play. Oh, we got sort of body in mind? Jeez. Wow. Okay. They played land and they're gonna go Drange Hermit equip. Or actually, this costs three to equip. Oh no, it does cost two to equip. They had a bop. That is not a problem. Yeah, I mean, that is true, Molly. Uh, fortunately, P and Kira can't kill the Vivian here. We can't really restart with the sword in play because they're going to equip the Sword of War and Peace to the Birds of Paradise. I guess we have to hit the sword and not attack the Vivian. Feels bad, man. All right, let's kill that. We'll kill the Vivian when with Tarpit next turn. That's the plan. Uh, hey, Zemo, how are you? Welcome. It's good to see you. We're stipulation drafting. We're starting the game with two swords? I know. Two swords and a no attack step, huh? Uh, sounds good, Zin. See you later. Okay, they're still going ham with that, Vivian. You're savage. The funny thing is I do think you can get there with a no attack step. I, I think like a blue black control deck could actually get there, but we're just like not that deck. Like a blue black control deck with some like nickel bullets at the top, like actually can win this. But that was just not available at the seat we were drafting. Oh man, they're going to town. We gotta protect the Karn. All right. Oh shit, they just found a Woodfall Primus? Damn it. They found it off the Vivian, huh? So let's not block with this one. We're gonna have to kill the Karn. Okay, that's... The Karn's just gonna die to Woodfall Primus, so... Yo, Garab, how are you? Welcome. Oh, 
<laughs> Dionysus, that's so sweet. I appreciate that. If we draw a bonfire, maybe we're in the money. The problem is they're gonna they're gonna blow up um We can't we can't deal with Woodfall Primus, so I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of the situation. Okay, we need to draw something. Bonfire? Come on. Come on. First, let's double check that we can kill that Vivian. Kill Vivian. I know, our answer to Woodfall Primus is actually the Karn, so what do we do then? Let's exile. Woodfall Primus is how much mana? It's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So killing a like bird that doesn't actually do anything. How do I beat those Watcher Knights and Hollow Knights? Dude, they're hard, I remember them. They are hard. Okay, I think we actually have to kill a Drange Hermit. The squirrels are a problem right now. We're gonna we're gonna die to them. We need to like. I'm. I think that just, we're just fighting a losing battle, Molly. I, I did think about bopping the bird, but I think right now I just wanna. Yeah, they even had the land, so it worked out. I think we're just on the bonfire, of the dam play, and then they're also gonna woodfall primus, persist and and kill the creeping tar pit. But then. Then at that point, maybe we're live to draw. What can we even draw? Ugin? Ugin would be nice. Yep. Oh, that's right. Ugin can't kill Primus, huh? That is true. It says trample, so we might as well block here. Oh, can you activate the target in response to the, for them not to kill it? That's interesting, but it, yeah, I guess maybe it makes it fizzle. Yeah, that is, that is legit. That is funny. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. We, the bonfire for a lot needs to be where we start out at. So, and then maybe like a Pheomancer is another draw that we could get. Kill the second part of the Woodfall Primus, but we need it like now. Yeah, Fight with Fire could be... Could be a thing, maybe? Ooh, they're activating pod. What are they potting away their woodfall, maybe? It would be nice if they pot away their woodfall. Cause then the bonfire just kills like, everything. Please pot away the woodfall. No, they pot away a bird. Draw flip bolus is not too bad. We're just in we're just so far behind is the problem. Like, the more turns go by, the more this, like, Woodfall Primus is just gonna kill us. Next up, can only attack with one power creatures. Um, that, that could be an interesting step. Bonfire! Okay, we'll have to do that in combat next turn. Bona Shaman is scary. They've been an Avacyn's Pilgrim. Let's see what they get. Hornet Queen? Okay, yeah, we can't beat that. I mean, unless we draw a bonfire and they play Hornet Queen right now. And then maybe we're back in this game, but we really need, like, on fire like right now right now please okay please 
Yeah, we need a miracle. We need a hero. Okay. Play Hornet Queen. Okay. This is our only out. We're on game. We're 0-2 Garab, and we're about to be down a game here, too. <laughs> it's been a rough life today. Okay. Oh man, they're potting away the Fauna Shaman? I wonder what they're getting. Yeah, we'll do another step after this one. All right. It's now War Bust. We're get, taking a hit for seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's more than death. No! Why? God damn it. Okay. Rip. I forgot about Hour of Devastation! That was also a draw! Damn it! Feels bad, man. We were almost, like... Well, hold on, we already conceded the game. Let's go to sideboarding. Okay, so I do like that Hour of Devastation. I think that that is good. They're like a little creature deck, so I'm into the Firebolt, to Firebolt them in the beginning. That's true. With a pot in play, we're gonna have a hard time, but yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, Rotodo, you can definitely get there with a step. This deck did, definitely did not get there. Yeah, it didn't look like they're, um... Um, it didn't look like they're... They, there were, like, a lot of gaps in their pod. Like, they weren't able to pod away our Siege King into anything, you know? Um... Splash a defensive, assemble a legion. We can't because that forces you to attack. They have to attack, right? Oh no, they, they don't have to attack, but I feel like the assemble legion does not, is not what we want here anyway. Uh, what do we want to board out? The Koth looks pretty shitty, as always. Okay, this hand is pretty reasonable. We, the only thing we can attack is Planeswalkers, indeed. That's the only thing. Mm, let's see how Matt Ness is doing at this thing. Okay, we can firebolt that thing. We can cast this Nickel Bull as the Ravager on four. I don't even know if we want to. It costs seven to flip a Rooney. Assemble plus Perforous is a win condition. It kind of is, huh? That's funny. Ooh. I'm into just playing Chandra. Yeah, maybe, Molly. It's a green deck. I guess I have not, not a lot that they can do. Not in cube, at least. Yeah, the burb was bolted. What's the next step? The next one's gonna be Super Friends. I think. I'm actually gonna leave it up to poll, but... Or, like, I'm gonna make a vote for it, but last time when we were voting, this was, like, the next up in line. No, I, I am going to make the poll, Gara, but I think top row was just not getting that many votes, so I don't think it's going to... I'm not sure it's going to win. I am going to make the poll, though, so I certainly could. There's a couple... There's a couple options, Gatekeeper. I have to look at my... I'm not big-timing you, Gara, but I just think you're stupid up there. Look, I've given people the chance to vote on it. There is totally a chance. 
So you're seeing there's a chance. Hmm, sure. They've been in the forest, but that's okay. All right, I believe that we can get one match win with this deck. I know it. I can feel it. Uh, it's going very bad, chill, bro. It is not a good step. Well, actually, I think it can be a good step. I just don't think this deck got there. Green Sun Cena's for three. Is this going to be old mana? No, it can't be because it's green. So what are they getting for three? The step is we can't attack. Ooh. The ETB step, I think we want... We. What do we do with ETB step? We O2 dropped. We've had a couple of, like, really didn't get their steps recently, huh? Uh... Okay, so let's pin again. And then... Oh, hold on. What'd I do? I guess I could Firebolt... Kill the Fauna Shaman, and then next turn I can... Downfall and Lily of the Veil. Yeah, that actually sounds like a pretty reasonable line. Especially now that they haven't been able to activate it. And I don't get to flip this thing, unfortunately. This cube in general has incinerated my limited rating. We had a good limited rating before we started all these stipulations. I'm sure our limited rating has now tanked. We've like 0-2 to two drafts or something. We're about to like 0-2, 0-3 this draft. I know, what if we could just attack with this Nicol Bolas? That'd be so sick. We've had a couple turns that we would have gotten in with Bolas. Though I will say, I think we're about to take control of this game. I don't know if we're gonna win this game, because obviously like the fact that we can't attack makes it a lot more difficult. Has anyone you've played against asked you why you haven't attacked? No one has actually, surprisingly. I don't know if they think we're, they're like, they, they just have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> I will say we haven't played against anybody who's known me. Because usually, like, people in chat will say, like, oh, hey, I like your content and stuff. So we haven't actually. Oh, snap, Mooly Dooly. Mooly Dooly hitting an island? Mooly Dooly hitting Sword of Body and Mind? Holy shit. It's okay. Sword of Body and Mind doesn't work if, um. Yo, Nabo with the 27 months. Welcome back. 27 months. Well worth supporting you. I appreciate that, Nav. Well, thank you, and welcome back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna just abrade this bad boy. Actually, no, yeah, let's abrade this bad boy. And then play Swamp and play Lily and make them tick down. Save a braid for their sword. Um, I kind of want to just get rid of their of their creatures. I think if we get rid of their creatures, we're not worried about the sword. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't think I'm super worried. Oh man. Well, that doesn't work out as well, unfortunately. Yep. I don't even think mistakes were made. I think that's just like a decision that didn't work out. Like. People say I love to call punt on stuff like that. How, how long until you flip? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could flip it and reverse it here. And maybe start just drawing cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can t take up with Lily and then discard whatever we don't want. Because we actually needed this. Oh, oops, we forgot to attack. Whoopsies. Uh, draw two cards. Uh, nice. Now we get to bin just a mountain. Yeah, too lazy to attack. <laughs> and now if they want to keep the Drain Hermit and actually attack my creatures meaningfully, they have to um, pay for the Drain Hermit, which is good. Okay. What do I think of Unmoored Ego? I think it's fine. It's not gonna be the like 
Tron hoser of a lifetime, like people say it's gonna be. Oh man, they didn't pay for Squirrel? That's great. <laughs> Molly. This is from blue and green, so I can actually just maybe jump. Like, depending on how they attack, I might just walk here. They are down to zero cards, that's good. I feel like it's gross when you name a fetchable duel. Yeah, I mean, it's a fine card. I don't think it's like... Okay, this is attacking us. This mills us, right? And then they're sending a bunch of things at Lily. So I think we have to actually um, block this one. We, we can't let them mill us, I don't think. We, we need time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm chumping the one that's attacking us for sure. And Lily's gonna be dead, unfortunately. And then we can... Downfall. This just brings it into play, right? Yeah, that Chandra was not very good, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. So let's bring back uh, Drange Hermit. Wait, Whisperwood Elemental? Hold on. When did that end up in the bin? When was this discarded? Yeah, I'm gonna get that Whisperwood. Oh, discard it to Lily. I missed that. Well, get back here. You, you've got work to do. Can we manifest something sweet? Uh, I kind of wanted to draw that. <laughs> okay, so... We can't block here, but we're gonna downfall it. And then the next couple turns, we'll have enough manifest to block against Squirrel that's equipped with Sword. All right, I think we can we, we can get this game. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Cure the crashing wave. Sure. Uh, yeah, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna swear on my Gooby honor that we have not not this match. This game. I'll swear on my Gooby honor that we can win this game. Uh, draw a card, you may play an additional land this turn, sure. I'm probably just gonna level man the Kiora, so. We're 0 2, David, and the third match, and we're down a game. Are we? Yeah, we're down a game. Alright, we gotta. Gotta pop, pop that thing. Okay, so Kiora's gonna be dead. And then we'll have enough manifest to block the squirrels, which is good. That also is pretty sweet. The only thing that stinks about this is that if we Angrath this squirrel, we don't want to give him the Sword of Body and Mind Trigger. I guess we could attack Kiora. Because this is the damage to a player. So we could actually steal the squirrel, sack it at the end of the turn, and then see if the Kira dies, and if not, Grim Lava Mancer can. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, killing Kira that way I think is legit. Hold on, we should... Yeah, they can't block it either. So let me draw two cards first. I think that's better than almost anything else. Um, that was whatever. Yeah, that's true. We couldn't even attack them with a scroll. That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> All right. So Angrath coming in to save the day. Take the squirrel. Attacking for the first time in the game. Where are we running Angrath? Uh, Angrath can dome them for two. It's sick technology, yo. Yeah, Angrath is one of our win cons. Feels bad, man. <laughs> this is the life we're living now. We're living in the in the worst of all the timelines. Well, our opponent probably thought we were incapable of attacking, but we sure showed them. <laughs> all right, so let's sack that creature. Let's get another little manifest action. An Inquisition of Kozilek. I would like to draw those cards. I keep drawing lands off my nickel bullas. How much do you ultimate at? 
minus 12. Oh, we got the game. See, Molly, I promised on my gooby honor that we would win this game. We didn't even kill them. They're at 14 life. We demoralized them. It was amazing. There's also value of the psychological effect of opponent when we don't attack all game except to swing a Kiara. True. <laughs> I thought we were not supposed to attack. So the only exception to the rule, Nabal, is we can attack Planeswalkers. We can't ever... That we can't win by attacking them. You have a 20 judge promo of Empiric Tutor sitting in front of me and 20 each of other promos in there, not mine, but it feels... That's so sweet, Judge Dan. God, no. Assemble the Legion defensively sounds bad. I like just the little ma changes that we made to, like, bolt their, their little critters. Uh, yeah, maybe we should take Fire. I took Firebolt, I think, because we can just run it twice, but... Oh no, look at this hand, almost gets there. We have 10 black sources. This might be a little too risky. I don't know if we can risk it. it the, our devastation is good and we have the two lands too. Hold on, do we actually have 10 red sources? Cliff, summit, mountain, 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 mountain. That's nine sources. I don't know. What do we think, chat? Are we keeping this? Is this Sneep and Gabby fine, or are we just tossing it? No guts, no glory. Keep. The hand is very good if we... <laughs> is that a ship? Ship it. Toss it. Keep. This isn't a coward shame. We have nothing to lose. That's a good point. I'm gonna keep this. No guts, no glory. We have nothing left to lose. Alright. Please. Please, red source, right? Yes! Oh my gosh, no guts, no glory. Feels good, man. Psh, easy game. Whew. All right, now we get to kill their turn to play. Ooh, they didn't even do anything. Um, yeah, I know, we had it the whole time. Psh, we're actually drawing pretty well out of this too. Uh, kinda, I'm not gonna be playing fight with fire next turn, so I think I'm just gonna swamp to kill whatever they play next turn, and then I can Creeping Tarp it on, on three. Cause it's not like it's stopping us from doing anything, not really. If we really wanna fight with fire, we can play on top land. Oh boy. Pod? Yeah, I guess we're not doing anything against that. This is sorcery speed, so we can at least, ah. God, a braid would have been so sick. Kinda wanna just get Lily and get started. It's gonna suck if they play a creature and then immediately pot it and we can't kill it at instant speed. But this Lily looks good on this board. Yeah, I think we just go Lily. I braid do nothing artifact I wish. You can never kill a creature before it pot unless it has an ETB. That's true. You need to trigger on the stack, right? Because you, you never get priority. All right, let's start discarding. Um... I think this Hour of Devastation is looking pretty bad. But if they get something like a Drain Hermit, I'm going to want the Hour of Devastation. And I definitely want the Angrath. And I want the Tarpit because that's what I'm going to play next turn. So maybe it's just a Fight with Fire. Yeah, I agree with you guys. All right. Bye-bye, Fight with Fire. They've been a Woodfall Primus. They're... Ooh, I like what's going on over here. My opponent's not playing anything. Take up with Lily once more. We're gonna hold on to that Nickel Bullis. Yo, Sway, how are you? I know, I wish Angrath was better too. <laughs> what are we bending? I, I wanna keep the Angrath and I wanna keep the Nickel Bullis. Oh my gosh! We did it! We won, dude! I knew we could do it! <laughs> hold on. I think getting one match win with this deserves some fanfare. <laughs> Not even that. That is like the most impressive one too of my whole life. I, I can't even believe it. That's even more impressive than the Wars Off Challenge. <laughs> Our deck was a monstrosity. Gotta have a Lily on an empty board to make one opponent scoop. I just, I love that we were about to bend the hour devastation. They were just like, nah, I'm off it. <laughs> wow. I can't believe we actually got the one too. <sighs> hey, Ocean Creator, that's a cute emote. I'm a fan. 
Yeah, despite our best efforts, 203, we actually won, dude. It was. Um, all right, everybody. Let me let me wrap up the the YouTube video. I'm gonna show an outro. This is my first time telling you guys about this because I'm not working with an editor anymore, so I'm gonna do this myself. Uh, Bradius Goose, thank you so much for the five months. I'm gonna show you an outro real quick. I'm not done streaming, okay? Yo, Crisis, thank you for the 200 biddies. I appreciate it. I know stuff with my editor didn't didn't quite pan out, so we're back. I'm back to doing it myself. I might hire another editor to do it, um, but. Yeah, there's not going to be any more jump cuts on the YouTube videos for anybody watching on YouTube. That's also true. Um, so let me just, let me outro it real quick, then I'll end the video, and then we're back to streaming, okay? Give me one sec. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, Mountain Times. See you later.